So at a high level in this question, would they acquired a landfill? And it says that they'll have a retirement obligation. Now, ultimately, we need to figure out what amount of depreciation expense would, would record in the year 10 financial statements, right? So that's in the middle of all this. Are we going to have to create one big depreciation table? And the answer to that is no. So if we look at our mental map, right, depreciation is step number three. And we can see that the journal entry would be a debit to depreciation expense and then a credit to accumulated depreciation related to that asset retirement cost. But to get that asset retirement cost, we're going to have to calculate what the initial journal entry would be to record that asset retirement obligation, right? Because the debit is to that asset retirement cost. So we're gonna to have to perform steps one and three here. And then once we have that asset retirement cost, then we just take whatever that amount is and divide by 20 years because we're using the straight line method. And that will tell us the amount of depreciation expense that would be recorded for each year over the 20 year period, right? So let's start with step one. We know that it's estimated to cost $250,000. Now we just need to take the present value of that, right? And since we're doing it over a 20 year period and we always use the credit adjusted risk-free rate, we're gonna use the present value factor that factors in that 8% rate. So the present value of $1 for 20 periods at 8% is 0 0.21455, right? So that's the present value factor that we're gonna use. So as you can see in the calculation there, when we multiply 250,000 by that present value factor, that tells us the initial liability to be recorded is $53,637, right? So our journal entry would be to debit asset retirement costs for $53,637, and then we'll credit asset retirement obligation for the same amount, right? So now we have the asset on the balance sheet, and that's what we need to depreciate over the next 20 years. Well, we could create a big table, but it's 20 years, right? That's a lot of work. And since it's straight line, all we know that we need to do is take that asset retirement cost and divide by 20 years. And that will give us the amount of depreciation expense that would be recorded in each year, right? So when we do that calculation, that ends up being a total of $2,682 of depreciation expense in each period, right? So the journal entry would be a debit to depreciation expense for that amount. And then the credit is to accumulated depreciation because we're building up that accumulated depreciation. And just like any other fixed asset, right? We have the gross amount and then we add in the accumulated depreciation. And at the end of that 20 years, it'll have a carrying amount of zero, meaning it's fully depreciated. But ultimately we just need to know the amount of depreciation expense. And the correct answer for that is gonna be $2,682.